Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about people who don't know what they're talking about. So I'm really surprised that people still make these videos and put them on the internet where they're talking about things they don't know about. And by the time this gets up, I know I'm going to be late to the party and several other people will have already posted corrective videos of this guy's actions, but I thought I'd take a swing at it anyway. So, uh, Grandmaster J from the Not Fucking Around Coalition, the NFAC, uh, posted this video, and this is an excerpt, this is like a two or three minute excerpt from a larger video of his, which I've not watched the whole thing, so go ahead and take that for what it's worth. But uh, this clip is just bizarre and asinine. So, for those of you who know about guns, this will be comical. For those of you who don't, I'm hoping to provide some education uh, so we can avoid not being educated. So, here we go. Let me demonstrate something for y'all. Y'all hold on a second. We're here on the morning mental. I'm going to show you just how stupid some people are. What, give me a weapon. This weapon right here? Yes. This is bullpup. Give me the bullpup. Yes, sir. is my first weapon that I ever bought. I bought this weapon back in 1990 in Germany. This is an XR-15 shorty. We call it a bullpup because this bitch got kicked to it. This bitch will knock you the fuck down. Okay, first thing, uh, that's clearly a lefty AR, right? Because uh, my bolt release and bolt carry group is on the right, right? His is over here on the left. Uh, so it's a lefty AR, which is fairly unique. You really don't see those very often. But uh, secondly, that's not a bullpup. <laughs> um, I don't I don't think he understands what the definition of a bullpup is, or maybe has never seen one. A bullpup, ladies and gentlemen, is where the action of the gun, usually where like the magazine is going to be and all the, the bullet shooting is going to happen, is behind the trigger. Okay, That's what a bullpup is. So that means the mag would be back here, the bolt carrier is back here, everything is going to be back here. That's what a bullpup is. That action is behind the trigger. Uh, a bullpup does not mean that it kicks. That has nothing to do with a bullpup whatsoever. Um, and also, again, he's holding an AR-15, he's holding a 5.56 gun, and they don't kick that much. So, let's keep going. The interesting thing about this weapon is if I pull back the bolt, see that? See the bolt? There's no bullet in there. Pay very close attention. If I'm not paying attention and I take this weapon and I bang it, look what just happened. The bolt goes forward. The weapon has fired. I didn't touch the trigger. I just simply banged it on the table. If you sit down and you bang this on the ground, you will blow your head off. It happens in basic training every day. And you all get a letter and a flag saying your son was killed in a training accident. An old shotgun. If you drop it, it will fire. So don't believe these motherfuckers running around talking about you shouldn't have had your hand on the trigger. You don't have to have your hand on the trigger. Let me show you again. Okay, so let's lock our bolt to the rear, shall we? Bolt lock to the rear, okay? Let's take a magazine with bullets in it. Okay, magazine with bullets in it. Now, um, this is just a pretty weak table. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the same effect here. Hopefully you can see that. I, I do not have a hole in my ceiling. The gun did not go off. Um, open bolt guns, like machine guns, will of course fire when the bolt goes forward because that's how they're designed. Closed bolt guns, like AR-15s, will of course not fire. Watch for the bolt to come out. There it is. Uh, will not fire when the bolt goes forward. If that was true, if that was the case, then AR-15s would fire every time you loaded them, right? Every time I put a new mag in there and I close the bolt, the gun would go off. Or every time I put a mag in there and I rack it, the gun would go off. That, that's, that's what would happen if AR-15s fired when the bolt closed. You can do this with your AR-15 at home. 
There, I'm sure there's going to be a ton of other videos of people doing this with AR-15s. AR-15s do not fire simply because the bolt goes forward. Same thing on a handgun, same thing on a shotgun, unless it's like a slam fire shotgun, which we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, I mean, there's just not, unless the shotgun has slam fire, I should say. I don't, again, I can't understand that people actually put videos like this on the internet because this is so asinine. Um, so it does not happen in basic training every day because one, guns don't fire like that. Uh, and two, I, I don't think there's 365 people a year or more that die from uh, training incidents. Just, it just doesn't happen. So let's keep going. just committed an incident. Your hand was not on the trigger. Doesn't make a difference whether, and it was on safe. Mm -hmm. Unless you understand weapons for real, don't you listen to these motherfuckers who have no intention of ever picking up one and who don't understand that weapons go off by themselves all the time. I find it ironic that he says, uh, unless you understand weapons for real, when he clearly doesn't. I also think it's really interesting that he says weapons go off by themselves. No, they don't. They don't. If they didn't, if they did, they wouldn't be reliable and we wouldn't use them the way we use them, okay? Weapons do not go off by themselves. If I'm tired and I want to sit down and I were to bump this gun, it's not just going to go off. That's called an accidental discharge, and we'd sue the manufacturer uh, because guns don't do that. Now, I will say he mentioned shotguns here. Now, I, I'm not 100% sure on shotguns, but I do know that there's been cases of shotguns going off in like car accidents and things like that because they have floating firing pins and things are a little bit different, which is why, by the way, police typically carry their guns cruiser ready, which means the tube is full, but there's not one in the chamber, right? So you have to rack it when you get it out of the trunk. Uh, so there's there's stuff for that. I, I get that, and that that's a side note. He probably doesn't know that, is my guess. But it, it's he's so incredibly wrong on so many things. It's funny, and I can't believe that he doesn't know he's full of it. He must actually believe it, because I don't understand why else you'd put that out on the internet. You got to know if you don't know what you're talking about like that, you're gonna get crucified. So I just wanted to try to help educate you in light of some misinformation in the world. AR-15 do not go off by themselves. They're not dangerous magic death machines. And uh, if you keep your finger off the trigger, the gun's not just gonna go off. Uh, that's it, that's all I got. Leave a comment, do brave deeds, and endure.